Hello and welcome back to another episode of United We Stand, Divided We Podcast. I am Robert from just outside Nashville in the U.S. of A. And my co-host in Canada, just way outside the U.S. of A. (laughs) (laughs) An hour and a half, two hours, well, three hours, including the border. (laughs) Toronto or Toronto. I am Lionel. Welcome back. What do we got on the agenda today, Robert? Well, we don't actually have much. So this is going to be a little bit of a short one. Uh, We have some things to do. I've got to prepare. I'm going out of town. Uh, So we'll probably just uh, be a little lighthearted, kind of a short one. And uh, then when we get back, when I get back from uh, my trip, then we'll we'll get back into it. Um, So, but one thing that if you guys out there in YouTube land want to put in the comments, uh, we were talking about doing a uh, U.S. Canada candy test. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what kind of candies no, you no, want us to try? Candy. We got we got to think about some chips and stuff too. Uh, well, so, yeah, I guess we can do chips because you have that ketchup that we chips. Both but... Have. Well, yeah, and, but there's also going to be. Uh, I would like to find out uh, if some of the American branded snacks, including some potato chips, uh, taste different even though they're the same brand name and same flavor. Yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, you know, and then one thing we can't do, obviously, is ship beer to each other, for instance. <laughs> uh, if you drank a Canadian beer, it's probably now made in the U.S. and not an import, unless its label is an import, in which case it's probably closer to the border anyways. Um, and the same used to be here. Uh, 30 years ago, if I drank Budweiser at the bar, it was imported. It cost more money and it was good. It's been made in Canada for a long time by Labatt. I think it's Labatt. Maybe it's Molson. I can't remember. But um, it doesn't, it tastes like Canadian beer. It doesn't yeah. taste like Budweiser at all. Well, but just a word of warning when if you come here, don't order a Bud because it looks. I, I don't drink foamy. Budweiser, period. I, I, I it, <laughs> Budweiser is like drinking foam. It, it, I didn't think so. When I had Budweiser originally, uh, the first time I, I ever tried it was actually in Chicago and you know, I liked it. So, yeah, yeah, although so. I will say this it, back in those days, it was weaker than our beer. Uh, a lot of people still make that joke, but that's not actually true anymore. Uh, your, your alcohol percentage seems to have risen somewhat. Yeah. Your beer. Well, one thing that Blake and I failed to do, and we talked about it, but we just had so much going on. And then, and, you know, there's so little time when you're traveling, there's so much to see like in Europe is uh, in Brussels, there's uh, like a, a bar that's got like a thousand plus beers. And Ooh. we talked about going there wow. and we just got sidetracked and, and we just completely forgot all about it. We're like, we like, dang it, should have gone there. That would have been kind of fun. Well, but I don't, I don't think you had time to taste them all. Uh, well, no, no. Speaking of that, though, there was a there's a beer that's made from a uh it's called new glaris it's a it's a like a small brewery or brewer i guess if you call that I don't yeah know. it's in it's in uh just outside of uh, madison wisconsin and they my wife loves their spotted cow and they have a beer called um red belgium and when i was in belgium we happened to go to a restaurant and I looked at the menu and my eyes about popped out of my head because I was like, that's the beer. So I ordered it and I kid you not, it tasted exactly like the other beer that's actually brewed in Wisconsin. So they wow. probably, somebody probably traveled and said, oh my gosh, this is really good. We got to figure out how to make it in our brewery. And they probably, and that's why they named it Red Belgium. This wasn't named Red Belgium. It had a different name, but I it's I it's exactly the same. I and I, I just started like, <laughs> and my son's like, Dad, you really like that beer? I'm like, Oh yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> well, I admit I'm so not as much of a funny. beer person as I used to be, uh, but uh, I grew up with a lot of very bland kinds of beers. So it took a while for me to get a taste for something better. And oddly enough. The American version of Bud right, Budweiser was the first time I tasted something different, which is why, probably why I liked it. But now, of course, you can't go six blocks without finding a craft beer place somewhere. There's yeah, microbrewery everywhere, right? And it's a huge yeah. business now. So 
there are some bars that just make it in the, the whole back of their building is a brewery and yeah <clears throat> the business is that but the, you know they might as well get a a, a a nightclub license or whatever it is not a nightclub that would be like 200 people that's not what they're looking for i mean you know what i mean a a bar license right uh well i'm not i'm not a beer drinker at all really um there's only there's only literally i could count as many as i like on one hand and and that's leaving some fingers open i I i'm a cider guy i'm a cider guy i can count on these three fingers (laughs) two of them i don't remember the name of so i it's it's not a thing for me. I'd actually honestly rather drink some flavored uh, vodka of some sort or gin or whatever. It's, yeah, I mean that's fine. But if I mean, we have you a know, thing obviously, gin smash here. I kind of like that, but it's not the, not the best. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Yeah, I like a good hard cider, and they're starting to get more. Not very many, but they're starting to kind of pop up some of the craft cider breweries. Uh, there's one in Nashville called Diskin Cider. And uh, there's a new restaurant here in town. It's a burger place. That's a it's burger and beers. Exactly what their logo, I mean their uh, saying says. And it was delicious. We went and had lunch there last week. I've never had a cider in my life. And I, I, you know, I'm curious. Oh, so now, good. Is 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 cider originally a non-alcoholic beverage? Is it still a non-alcoholic beverage, or is it considered an alcoholic beverage? I haven't got a clue what cider is. Well, no, it's it's 100% you can get non-alcoholic cider. Okay. I mean, that's how I started drinking it. I love cider. See, like, you I, know, you I, drink, I, hot cider is like Christmas cider. That's a big Christmas okay. drink. So, I, yeah, I, I was just, that's just, to me, in my mind, I was thinking that must be something that wasn't originally because all I ever remember seeing is every old movie that was took place in the 1800s or something. <laughs> Even on Little House in the Prairie, you want some cider? You know, and they were offering like Laura Ingalls cider. I'm not going to offer her, you know, you know, try, not trying to get her drunk, right? So. Right. Well, I mean, you have apples. You can make cider, right? So, I mean, it's, you know. If it's apple it, cider. It's, yeah. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently you can make more than apple cider now. You, well, I'm you sure. You can make cider sure. on anything, man. I could probably make a uh, chocolate cider if I wanted to. I, <laughs> No, Maybe with, you can uh, make dandelion the, wine for crying out loud. There's one that uh, the Disc Insider <laughs> here in Nashville makes. It's called a Tiki Tonic, and yeah, it definitely. is uh, it's apple, pineapple. It's got a couple other things yeah. like a six and a half percent, you know, alcohol. How did we, how did we get into this conversation? So this is nowhere where we thought <laughs> we were going to go with this. <laughs> uh, we talked about like, we went from candy to beer, <laughs> candy to beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's another way. We we did say we were going to be lighthearted about it, but but what the hell? Since, yeah, yeah, since, yeah. since, since it's not going to be an hour long program, uh, we we should mix the joviality in with the the one thing that you brought up earlier that you wanted to talk about. Well, actually, you shared it with me, and it's about the uh, Google right. Gemini being able to remember things. And I actually uh, put a few things in my Gemini app. I haven't really played around with it, but so, so I think it's really me cool. It works for you. And you can say, yeah, see, America only, right? Like, what, you don't that, have it? Where's that meme? America. America. <laughs> you don't, I mean, you can't, you can't I do it? Yesterday, let me see. Is it supposed to be Let's in the see. settings? Should yes. I be able to look in the settings to find out instead of asking? Where would um, I find it? Oops. Oh, if I could open my app and not quit closing it. Um, uh, that's a good question. So it's gonna be in settings and then uh, I don't see it in here. It automatically popped up for me for the first time that I did it. Oh well, so that's why I'm. It's I don't. I'm not gonna have it because I don't get anything. I don't get any of the good stuff. Um, extensions? No, that's not. That's not it. Oh, I can turn on my public preview in my Google Home. Nice. Let's do that. Wait a minute. What? Where did you find that one? Okay, do you just need to tell that's in ex- it, it's in extensions. That's in extensions. That's in extensions, and then you can have like Google Flights, Google oh, you Home. You didn't turn that on yet. Mine was just automatically on. I didn't even have to turn it on. 
Well, not, I didn't have the Google Home turned on for some reason, but all my other stuff was turned on, so I'm not sure why that Oh, wow. No, it, it makes a huge difference. As long as your old home is either turned off or doesn't listen to you. I know there's a way to change it so that only certain ones can hear you when you're in the same room or when they can audibly hear each other, um, but I can't find any of those settings now because I'm honestly, I'm sick of this old thing. And okay, so it's a saved here, info I, I page. What? It's under saved info. Oh, what in settings? And then there's something called save info. Yeah, I don't have it. No, I went under updates. So I clicked on my picture in in the Google Gemini, and then I went to updates, and it says info you asked Gemini to save. And there's a there was a link. I wonder if I can save this link. Oh, I should do that. Wait a minute. What? Saved info page. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I can bookmark info you. It. Ask Gemini, blah, blah, blah. Share info about your van. Okay, so add. Nice. Okay, I just added info. What do you want Gemini to remember? So you do have it. So see? Hang on, talking one, bad second. About Hang on one second. Mm. Oh, wait, I don't have that. Oh, oh my God, my mouse doesn't work. Anyways, for those of you who use Google uh, Gemini Advanced, you have the ability now of telling um, Gemini to remember certain things. So, for example, um, I told it that I prefer detailed and precise responses. And I also told it my favorite sports team, even though that might change at the end of the year because they suck really bad. And um, I told it my favorite color. And there's some other thing I was going to add, but you know, this way, when you ask Gemini questions, it'll look at what info it has that you have saved and it'll kind of develop its response based on those saved things. If it's relevant and yeah, the saved thing I, doesn't work. I just tried it. I saved it and it doesn't, didn't do anything. It didn't save it. I mean, it says it did, but it didn't remember what I, I just literally asked it the question that I saved. And it says, I don't have any information. And you can kiss my ass. I didn't oh. say that. <laughs> hey, what's my favorite color? Yeah, yeah, now you got me. <laughs> what did I do wrong then? I can access information about people and their preferences. What's your name again? My name is Robert. What's my favorite color? Okay, Robert, let's find your favorite color. I already told you what my favorite color was. Why can't you remember it? See, it doesn't know. It doesn't know shit. So I can't actually remember things the way a person does. I can access and process information, but that's different. I apologize if that caused any confusion. Is there anything else you'd What's like to talk What's my daughter's about? name? No, you've irritated me. I'm done. I understand. <laughs> I'm still under development. But sometimes I make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> that's dumb. Your daughter's name. This is to protect your privacy and safety. Okay. Oh, my God. Are you serious? That's why it won't do it. And it's claiming it can't remember, yeah. To it can't remember my, my favorite color? That has nothing to do with safety. <laughs> All right, so we were going to talk about this, but it, apparently, even though it's rolling out, it's either not rolled out, but he, yeah. you said that you already had the, the notification that it's supposed to be working. So the yeah. only reason, um, the only reason I think they have is uh, when you ask it, it should say, I cannot remember because the devs made a mistake and they screwed up. <laughs> It should say, you, you do know were, this is Google, right? You, you would swear they were working for Treyarch or something. Oh, well, look, it's the same, the same thing as this, right? So this is the Moto tag, the Bluetooth yeah. tracker. It's supposed to have ultra wideband. Now, the device does have ultra wideband, but guess who hasn't turned it on yet? Google. So basically, it's just another Bluetooth tracker. Wait a minute. So same kind of thing. It's oh, like, it, oh, here, this is available, yeah, but yeah, no, it's you not really. That before, but I, I don't think it really registered in my brain. So what you're yeah. saying is that the oh, excuse me, the ultra wideband in the Find My Device network is not actually active. Correct. Is that what you mean? So the, I, it doesn't matter correct. if I have one that's ultra wideband. I'm basically just using regular Bluetooth. So there's no difference between what we already had. And this, exactly. except the biggest difference is that we don't have to have individual ones 
we have, I mean, like specific ones from one company, you could theoretically have three from this company and three from that company if you so chose. But why, when each of the individual companies already has a large amount of product on the market and you would have a better chance of finding your stuff? Uh, um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Supposedly it was supposed to be ready by the end of the year, but you know, um, here we are getting close to the end of the year and I've heard nothing about it being actually turned on. So, um, well, have you yeah. heard the news? They're probably too busy shifting everybody around because Android 16 is out in about 15 seconds. <laughs> it, it reminds me of Dr. McCoy. When he was, what was he? I can't remember which movie it was. Was it a movie or one of the TV shows? Uh, you're a bigger Star Trekky than I am. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it was Genesis, the Genesis device, right? So it was, it was a uh, uh, Khan, you know, Rafa Khan. Um, <laughs> Doctor McCoy says when they talked about the Genesis device, which creates life, blah 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 blah. You know, however many days or hours or whatever. Um, and so he, he's saying, oh, well, God created the, heaven, the, uh, the earth in seven days. But watch out. Man can now do it. Here comes Genesis. Man can do it in seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, well, th this is the same kind of thing now. I feel like Google is just like, okay, well, I, I like the idea that they put the Pixel 9 out, series out early. Because they're like, well, you know, let's beat Apple to the punch and get some of their business. And and the sales numbers are telling us it's true. It worked. It, it, it is the best, only good marketing I've ever seen them actually do. Um, and I mean that literally. But now they're like, oh, well, Android 16 is going to be out in June. What the? F <laughs> you were late with Android 15 on an early release phone, and now you want to give less than eight months for a whole like they got a completely different dev team doing the next version of android they have to because yeah. they're still working on android 15. oh yeah sure there's that still bugs gotta have, be squashed they have thing. they have uh one or two more um updates for that uh normally it would have been three more uh before they would have the beta out and then a final one before the new release but it looks like they're only going to have the december and a march but here's the interesting thing the public beta, not release candidate shit, final beta, sorry. Final beta with the, uh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, stable the, version? Yeah, this, well, not stable. No, the, well, I mean, technically it is stable, but uh, the word they, the, the phrase they use for when everything should be working and you can pretty much put whatever your apps are on and all the release depth. candidate? No, that's. I don't um, know what words you're talking about then. I'm just throwing words out there. I have no idea what you're talking about. Because he didn't let me finish. <laughs> the, 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 when, when, when you get down to the last, or either second last or last beta, depending mm -hmm. on the year, uh, and, and now they tell the devs, basically the app devs, that is, this is, this is what you can work on. This is going to be the most stable it's going to be before the final release. So we're not making any more major changes. Only small bug fixes are going to happen, right? So at that point, and that's what they're saying is that and that uh, Android 16 is going to be in April. 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 Wow. So we might be looking at one last May beta, and then June is it will be the Android 16. So mm -hmm. it's coming out on the same crop of phones, and now you can imagine that Samsung, unless they're in on this, which is possible. They're probably thinking, "You sons of bitches, we're, we're, we're still working on everything with with 15, and you're gonna yeah. throw 16 at us. So we have to put the new one on the on 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 the new on, on the new phone. But we're they're not gonna have enough time. It takes them another three months just to start doing their betas for their one UI shit. And since it's a a major release, they're gonna have to do." Uh, whatever you call it, a lot of extra testing. You know, it was a lot easier when they did incremental releases and you would see, you know, in a, in a space of three years, you might see three incremental releases or four and a major update every two years or something like that, right? So, like, what was it? Uh, four, there was uh, four, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, 4.10, 4.11, 4.12, 4.13, 4.14, 4.15, 4.16
4.2, 4.3, and 4.4. And that all happened in, what, a year and a half or something like that? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what the time yeah. frame was. But, yeah, I know what you're Well, let about. me put it this way. 4 and 4.4 were not even the same operating system, if I remember. No, wait, they were, because they were both KitKat. So maybe I'm thinking of a 3, a three point something. But yeah. at least at least one of them was like that. They would have like two two major updates within one. You know. No, well, it almost it almost tells me that sixteen is just fifteen refreshed. Also, <laughs> basically, you're saying it's Modern Warfare three to Modern Warfare two. You mean the other way around? No, Modern Warfare three to Modern Warfare two, as in a refresh of Modern Warfare two. Is it basically said, the exact same game with a couple of different maps? Okay, which sure. it was. <laughs> it absolutely was. It played. If that's the analogy game. you want to use, sure. I yeah, seen freaking characters in it. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, yeah. but at least they at least they played mostly well. Uh, but we, we maybe we should get into it. Black Ops Six has got serious problems. <laughs> I think they're serious i think they're just normal problems and they just got to work through it i, yeah, I mean it's they're, they're serious I, I, half the time you can't get on uh and you have to restart just to open the thing the first time sometimes you can't get on for hours uh sometimes it takes several minutes i'm not talking about several minutes like turn it on go to the bathroom maybe make a sandwich i mean like in and out in and out turn on restart everything in your house and hope that it reconnects but that didn't start until this last update and so that leads me to believe no, no, that wait, there's some on, type that, of service. That, I've that, never had that issue until this update. Well, yeah, but, but everybody's having it. it it's, I said they needed to fix it. I never said that it came out of the gate like that. But they have had other problems. It's always taken a little bit longer to log in than it's ever taken before. It's it's a little bit weird. And sometimes the gameplay gets a little a little bit funky. And I'm not the only one that says it. There's tons of YouTubers talking about it. I'm not even talking about the cheating issue. I'm just talking about, uh, or not even the problem with the with the bullet, you know, the damage nerfing. Uh, but just sometimes the gameplay gets a little funky, and it doesn't always happen to everybody, and it doesn't happen every match either. I had it happen well, to I, me I one get match it, but it's, that I played it, today, uh, and 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 uh, the last two, I I didn't have the issue at all. I didn't have any issues at all the last two matches. But, yeah, but you're talking such a monumental jump between three and Black Ops six as far as graphics movements all okay, those things monumental. the amount of it's not it is monumental in it is it's Same huge difference resolution. and and yeah. the yeah. amount of the amount of resources i'm sure that's going on in the back end maybe they didn't prepare for the level of which they're getting um you know used and so they're having to adjust maybe even hardware resources. You have no idea. This that takes a lot of it doesn't matter. You're just basically shit. what you're doing. What you're doing is you're defending them, and it doesn't make any sense to me. It's it's this is something that's happening and people are actually experiencing it. It's not like yeah, no. it's an imaginary thing. I don't I'm not saying these people are asked. I'm not saying it's imaginary. I never said it's imaginary or something like that. I'm simply saying they need to get their shit together. Because honestly, of course there's going to be bugs in everything new. Modern Warfare 2 had bugs. Modern Warfare 3 had bugs. I'm sure every Modern Warfare did. Uh have you ever heard uh, uh what they talked about with, with Ghost Recon Breakpoint when it came out? You remember too. It, it, that had bugs. Even at the end, it still had bugs. And people talk about well, it all the time. Right? I guess being in the IT world and understanding, you know, on a daily basis what I deal with, I, I understand well, a little yeah. bit more of like, hey, there's a lot more going on in the back end that people even. Well, of realize. course there are, but I'm talking about code writing. I'm not talking about whether whether the servers are working or not. Because but it's hand, it goes hand in hand. It goes hand in hand. It does if the server is the issue. But I'm telling you right now, the problem I had the other day trying to get on wasn't actually a straight server issue that made no sense if it was i shouldn't have been able to get on at all uh there's there's other things going on in some code in the game that is not authenticating properly it's not the server it's a code that gets before the server before it even connects to it i guarantee you that's some that's an issue but they'll fix it in fact the reason why we didn't see you know you usually see almost sometimes two, three days in a row when you go to get on COD and, and it says game requires restart. 
Or update requires restart. Well, it hasn't done that in three days. So <laughs> that tells you something. They're working on it. Otherwise, they probably would have had a little tiny little squad bug squashing update by now. So I expect the next day or two, they probably will update and fix the problem. Guess we'll that's, find out. That's all I'm saying. And maybe this is our count point. Or sorry, count point counterpoint for this week. <laughs> we, should, we need to get a graphic and do that every week. Yeah. <laughs> point count. I just think people are far more critical than um, they even understand what's going on. So that's just my that's my point or counterpoint well, yeah. or whatever you want to call it. So Fair I have enough. A, you know. But in all honesty, I don't I don't need to understand how a jet engine works to know that if it's flapping under the wing, something is wrong. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, and of course, if that is the case, there's nothing I can do about it but put my head between my legs. And uh... <laughs> at least with caught, true. you can just get mad and turn it off. Yeah, like rage, rage quit. quit. <laughs> I've never. I've never done that. Right. You mean you haven't done that in the last couple of hours? <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that in weeks. Anyway, <laughs> having said that, where are we at? Um, do we have anything important we wanted to bring up, or uh, are we uh, are we good with on that front? No, I think we're good. I mean, obviously, there's still some stuff you know that's starting to fly around like crazy with the whole Trump thing, but I'm not getting into <laughs> politics at all. Yeah. So, yeah. today, yeah, not today. Not yeah, today. It's, it's uh, way there's way too much worldwide. Never mind. Yeah, and uh, you know, of course, my hockey team still is complete garbage. Yours is still number one. They won again, right. six to three. What, what you say again? They lost two in a row. And oh my, oh my God, they lost two in a row. <laughs> four goals, four goals. Legitimately got past the goaltender. Two of them were empty netters, albeit short-handed empty netters, but empty netters. Both of them by Morgan Barron. Which means he has two shorthanded goals, and I'm pretty sure that means he's on top of the league in shorthanded goals, or maybe not. Hey, I don't. Dude, know. your team has lost three games. Yes, they we have. barely just won our third they, game, they, not they, they but a few they, games ago. Okay, so I, I don't even know why you hear it, man. They had a three game win streak. You're saying that you they won their third game? They're like they have like okay, six. We're six and five. nine and three. Right. That's only three games below 500. They could come back oh my and God. win the whole thing. Okay. Like, there's yeah. so much time left. Look, we are going to pick last or first in the draft, so that's okay. But no, you don't want that. That's a death knell to, to some teams. It only works for like teams like New York. or. No, Detroit. I'm just saying that's that's what's going to happen because we're going to be dead last. We're third last in the entire league. Third last in the entire league. Third, You're third last. last. You, you were dead us, Blackhawks, and San Jose. Yeah, and we're mean, all like two points apart, so we might as well just be dead tied for dead last. Dead last, which means you you're already moving up. <laughs> that's improvement. Okay, well we're moving on up. <laughs> yeah, that's like going from F minus to an F. Okay, yeah, that's that's improvement, I guess. Uh, F minus to a B plus. No, fail. 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 No, no, they got too much time left. Listen, you you're only gone through the first five questions of the uh, uh, of the test you know, in 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 math class. You're, you, all you got to do is you know do a little better than five hundred. The rest Look, of the test. if this was a rebuilding team, I would get it. I'd have no problem with it. When you spend ninety million dollars on Stamkos, Marchessault, Shea, you have Forsberg, you have all the you know, Roman Yossi. I, I agree. Uh, Nyquist. And listen, those guys will all there is come together. No, there's no they'll, excuse for any of this. Come None. together, they'll get it done. Maybe, maybe None. what's his name? Barry something. Your general manager. Barry Trotz. Trotz, yes, man. Maybe Trotz. Maybe Trotz will trade one of those guys for somebody. Oh, that no, he's not, maybe that, that would be that stupid. Name, it's better. Uh, and, 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 you know, maybe they'll fire the coach and get a coach that will get them to gel together. Um, as yeah, as you're somebody not, you're, who, who's witnessed a team that sucked get a new coach that brought them together and they've been a good team since, even though they're three coaches later, 
um, all those coaches have basically taken something that the previous coach did and improved upon it a little bit more, right? Like the, I don't care the, what they do, Stanley they just Cup need winning to coach. What's his name? From, he did great, but he felt he couldn't take him any further. So well, we got next twenty coach, minutes to well, start of the next yeah. game, and we'll see how bad they are tonight. What tonight? You mean tomorrow, right? Is it tonight? No, they're playing tonight, nine o'clock. Playing oh. Seattle. For some reason, I was thinking it was tomorrow. No. It's uh, right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll be playing COD by myself then. Guess I can't watch the game. I would like to watch it because I'm pretty sure they're going to kick their ass. Okay. Go, go, Preds! I want to see the Preds do well, and obviously, go Jets! Go. Well. I want to see him do well too because I feel like I'm wasting a lot of money every month for my season tickets. <laughs> They'll pick right. it up. They'll pick it up. They, they get, it starts tonight. Oh, like, subscribe. And if you like the Preds and you want them to do well, subscribe and like. Oh, oh my gosh. You just like, you just, you, you chased off every single viewer we had. And it might have just only been two, but you just chased them off because nobody I, is I a Preds fan. I said, if you prefer the Jets, then like and subscribe at the same time. Fingers. Right? <laughs> if you don't like either one of those teams, then just choose whether you want to like and subscribe or subscribe and like. Yeah. Okay, that was yeah. the funniest shit ever. It's like dad yeah, jokes. Yeah, it was. So let's let's move on and and say that this is probably about getting getting, getting to the stale end of the conversation this week. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I don't really have anything best else. Best podcast uh, ever. Yeah. But we will say this: uh, you know how much I love my Winnipeg Jets. Somebody over there is not happy with his Preds, but I still think they're going to do better. Uh, whatever team you like, drop a little, you know a little blurb in the comments. Tell us who you think is going to win the Stanley Cup. If you think the Preds are going to do better the rest of the season, and if you think the Jets are not for real and they're just lucky in the first half. Okay. Hey, I don't think that's the case. I'm saying if somebody else thinks it, they're allowed to say their opinions if that's what they want. Sure. Yeah. So there it is. You but don't for go the this record, deep I, in an I NHL season and only away. lose three games and be lucky. That's not that's not a thing. <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, um, unless there's something else. There is not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I have I hope everybody going on behind me in case anybody notices. So things like I'm gonna that. be out of town. We're not having a podcast next week. And so I want to wish everyone a very happy American Thanksgiving and hope everybody has an enjoyable time with your families, eats lots of food, and just enjoys yourself because you got a few days off. It's going to be a long weekend yeah. next weekend. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I can't, I, I wish I could have some of that turkey, but we already did our Thanksgiving at the proper time. And uh, so we're already ready to sing Christmas carols here, but uh, out of respect, I'll wait until Friday. Sounds oh, good. thank you so much. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, that said, <laughs> that said <laughs> I am looking forward to Black Friday so I can uh, see all the things I can't afford to buy. <laughs> but uh, uh, window shop online. <laughs> yeah, it's that's I don't ever go outside in the stores. So. Insane. So, all right. Well, I'm Robert from the US of A, just outside Nashville, signing off for the week, two weeks. See you after Thanksgiving. And I am Lionel in Toronto. And once again, to steal from uh, from a legendary wrestling announcer, <laughs> announcer. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to do it this time. <laughs> Hope you have a great week, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving in America. Peace out. <laughs>